No, Bo, them being cousins isn't the only reason they shouldn't date. He's not even gay. I just finished. Could you not? Oh, hang on, Sandra. I'm on an important call. Okay, fine. I guess we can go on a double date and see how it goes. Oh, where are you taking those? Somewhere safe! Yeah, uh, Jonah sent me his floor supervisor application, but I'm having trouble logging into my email. I mean, I used to have some trouble, but today I'm having more trouble. Yeah, right. Um, I made an executive decision and changed the password. Although I love what you were going for with 54321. Oh, well, I can probably learn a new password with time. No, no need. I'll handle your email from now on. I actually like it. <laughs> this morning, the new DM sent you the activewear sales figures, but he forgot to include athleisure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I totally roasted him to the whole email chain. Well, you did. Roasted? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe that's kind of fun. And I wouldn't mind not having to deal with email. Here, you'll need this. About once a week, somebody writes me to say that if I don't give them my social security number, I'm going to be in trouble with the IRS. So, I just wrote it down. Jonah's social media is such a bummer. He wrote a poem about getting seeds in the mail. A most special delivery. Yeesh. Yeah, that's not gonna get you anywhere. You're just wasting your time. Everybody's seen his feed. I'm digging into his Facebook friends. Check this out. A video of him doing improv in college. Oh, is he like driving a bus? I hate this. Yeah, improv's the worst. Adults playing make-believe on stage? Why would I wanna watch that? The only thing worse than that is genocide and Acapella music. Hold on. I just found something better. Oh, wow, Jonah. Oh, jackpot. And I just wanted to let you know that because you dumped me for Randy, my best friend, I have intimacy issues. So thanks for that. I really hope this is still Gabby Pruitt's number. And if not, and you know Gabby, please let her know everything I said. Hey, Dina, uh, quick question. Look, now, I know we weren't in love when we were doing whatever it was we were doing. Having sex, talking, sometimes you made me carrot sticks. Yeah, anyway, do you feel like maybe I stopped things from getting more serious, like I was putting up walls? Yeah, maybe, or I was, but really it doesn't matter. I'm with Brian now and his tongue has precision handling. Seriously, I wanna give it a JD Power and Associates Award. <laughs> Not me. Anyway, have a good night. pretty fun to watch, right? I mean, you don't get that kind of entertainment when you shop at home. Why doesn't everyone take a second spin on the wheel? Huh? I mean, who doesn't want to win one of these collectible bobbling figures, you know? Whoa, 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 stop what you're doing. What now? No, it's this peg. It's loose. Mm -hmm. This could fly off and seriously injure someone. Mateo, we need to get this wheel out of here stat. Yes, we absolutely do. Excuse us, sir. What's all this? I don't remember approving this display. Oh, don't worry. Just spoke to the manager. She said it was cool. Dina, you got a minute? With the crunch on these snack alacums, it's next level. It's like an elephant stepping on plywood. Uh-huh. Nice. Uh, Dina, did you approve this display? Because this space is already reserved. The Fruity Yum Yums people are going to rip me a new one. Sorry, I said yes without thinking. It's just for me in here, told me it was a great product. Oh, amazing product. If you're not careful when you chew these, you bust an eardrum. Look, I appreciate you stepping up while I was away, but I'm back now, and I think it's best if there's a clear chain of command. You know, like manager, assistant manager. Yep, that's fair. I think my brain was just stuck in manager mode, but I'll make sure it switches back. Well, sample for the road. Yeah. Oh, it's like there's a gun range in my head. Hmm. How is that even legal? snack a -lackums. The display can stay. It's great. Oh, you're the best. Look at this great apartment. Tandem parking, problem for some, but perfect for you. Honestly, Mateo, I'm very happy at Amy, at my place. There's no reason to move. I can think of one, sex. You can't bone in your ex-girlfriend's bed. Unless you have a revenge kink. Well, that's a non-issue. It's, it's not like I'm, I'm meeting people in a pandemic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. 
Let me think on that. Please don't. Got some new lamps on sale here, guys. Nice for anyone's home or headquarters. Yeah, good lamps. The best of lamps. I mean, they're okay. And then last week, I was eating one of those Luna bars that you love, and a butterfly landed on my nose. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, dude. That was me. Hanging tan on your red schnoz. <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry. Hey, oh. Glenn, like, I know you cared about Amy, but she wasn't the only employee you invested in. You gave me a job when I had zero retail experience. You officiated my wedding. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you need a friend, you can talk to me. As me. Sandra, that's, that's very sweet. And, and I know you're my friend. It's just, my problem is I miss Amy. Were you even listening? Right, no, you did say that. I mean, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but jeesh. Okay. What's this? I realize I haven't been seeing things from your perspective. Of course you're gonna want a date. So I thought it was important that we get on the same page about what that looks like. Sign the last page, bottom copy's yours to keep. You want veto power over who I date? What? No. Oh, that should say me and Brian have veto power. Great catch, just write in the change and initial it. Yeah, uh, I'm not signing this. What? Why? Failure to comply will result in consequences including personal essay and self-reflection, like homework. Look, I don't want to give it to you. This is up to you. God, look what I did. He was already stressed enough about the deposition. Is he bringing his whole office in there? No, I think that's just crap from it. Yeah, no, I... Yep. Oh, oh God. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh... I, I think the papers are mine. Yeah, I'll just get that out of here. Did, did I have marshmallows? Those are, okay. At some point the government pays you for being old, right? At least he has that going for him. Ugh, can't wait till I'm rich and I never have to touch this cheap garbage again. You're pretty. I think I'll buy myself a version of your face. Can you smile? over the floor and it ruined my shoes. It's unacceptable. These are sketchers. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a free hot dog if you don't mention it in the survey. There's a survey? Oh, I'm definitely mentioning it. It's so unacceptable. Uh, okay, can you mention some of the acceptable stuff too then, please? Oh, uh, sir? <gasps> Employees on special assignment, report to the floor. I, I know I said don't, but do. Say it. This is straight up dumb. We have real work to do. The women's bathroom still smells like french fries and we still haven't gotten to the bottom of that. Careful, you could be around. Don't want to take yourself out of the running. For what? You don't get what this is, do you? Haven't you ever seen Undercover Boss? They always reward their favorite employee with a ton of money. I hope it's a million dollars. I could really use it. But he already told us who he is. He's not undercover. That's the best part. It's like fish in a barrel. <clears throat> Man! I love my job, almost as much as I love my mother who's struggling to make her car payments. <laughs> so, as I was saying, Jonah, Jerry's sister is dating someone new. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. This guy is so much taller than she is, it's kind of awkward. Like, the sex part, they have to use a stool. Uh, okay, that, that's, that's, that's enough. That's, what are you guys talking about? Oh. oh. You overheard that? We were just talking about Jerry's sister's love life. <laughs> Do you know anything about um, Eric's sister's love life? You mean Amy? Oh, right. I completely forgot. Oh, Jonah, are you trying to find out if Amy's dating someone? No, me? No, no. I don't care. I don't even know. No, 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 no. Why would I even know? But I actually do know. And I will tell you. Seriously? For a price. Name it. Sandra. Just do it. Fine. What do you want? You have to pick up Glenn Strike leaning for a month. He only has four ties and needs a ton of soup. Uh, okay, whatever, just tell me. <sighs> yes, she's seeing someone. Right, yeah, we, we, yeah, of course, we figured. They met at the bay. He had a picnic, but he brought too much, so he needed someone to share it with. Anyway, they made love. Yeah, his name is 
Francois. The pay. Damn it, I knew it. I feel like you're making this up. Francois is a painter, so he's like really sensitive. But he's also a bodybuilder. So, you know, he can get the job done. Okay, that's, that's enough of that. You clearly have no information, so I am not going to do the dry cleaning thing. But you promised! And they're gonna tell you they can't get the barbecue stains off his khakis, but that's just part of the dance. Wait, so now we have to put everything back in boxes? For now, until he decides he wants it all floating up in the air, up his butt. <laughs> I hope he picks up his butt. But for now, just back in the boxes? Yeah, that's good. I think reboxing is brilliant. Lowell Anderson is a genius. And there's no smarter move than to help a minimum wage employee buy his first jet ski. Yeah, she's just really fun and cool. I think you guys would really hit it off. Oh, and she's rich. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'll go out with her. Yes. <laughs> Carol's gonna love me for this. I can't hang for a few days though. I got this geography test coming up. Wait, how old are you? 17. And almost half. Damn it, Max. You gotta lead with that. <sighs> Good luck on the test. Thanks. And again, I'm so sorry for burping. How'd it go? Well, I said everything right, but I admitted that I'd had this dream about sharing a root beer float with Drew's friend, Diane. Not necessary, but I don't think it hurts us. All right, I'm up. Don't worry, Glenn, I'm not gonna throw you under the bus. What? Why would you throw me under the bus? Oh, I just meant if pinning the murders on you somehow helped me, but relax, it's probably not happening. Probably? No, no, probably not. Come on, relax.